Hi YouTube, how are you all? For those of you who've just joined my channel, my name's Jan Silver and I've been video logging my journey to and beyond a gastric bypass, which I had on the 15th of March 2017 at the Berkshire Independent, with my surgeons being Dr. Greg Jones and Dr. Ramus. Um, and a lady doctor that I can never remember her name because I think I didn't meet her unless I was under anaesthetic, so sorry. Can't remember your name. But anyway, um, today I really wanted to come on and say, well, firstly, I will say I have lost, I've actually been working out some, doing a bit of maths here. It wasn't easy, believe me. I've got a bit of a headache, a bit of a strenuous headache because of it. But I have lost in total um, 69 pounds now that includes my liver reduction diet, which I did for 14, 15 days actually prior to surgery. I know I need to leave my hair alone, Claire, sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, including my liver reduction diet, I've lost a total of 69 pounds, um, which equates to four stone 11, 12 pounds, I think. And I am super, super happy with that. Um, so that's me, I'm doing really, really well. All the better for having a day yesterday and spending it with um, people that I've met through this journey. Um, there were 15 of us that met at the Star at Maldon Russia and I can't tell you, it was just the most fantastic, fun-filled, inspiring, wonderful, wonderful day. We had a few new ones turn up, so welcome to Claire and Liz and I'm trying to think who else was new. Um, um, Claire is pre-op, Liz is post-op and uh, you know we have a real mixture within our support group which I think the diverse um, the diversity of it makes it all the more fun and you know it's a knock-on effect over who's helping or supporting who and who's having what who's had what and you know it, it we're really about just being there to support each other and that's invaluable and I thank you guys you know it was just silly old me putting it out there who wants to meet up me and Mandy met originally and then we met Rachel and Jane and you know, it's kind of gone from strength to strength and um, I can't thank you all enough. It's it's brilliant. I'm going to, yeah. So I did, I, I re-watched the YouTube that we did yesterday, which was great fun and expect more of those because your little cameo roles, you should be doing more of them. So, uh, but I will tell you that I tried to calculate for those who actually spoke on YouTube yesterday, um, I did calculate all of our weight loss and I was trying to, I've got an overall total. For those who have had surgery and spoke on YouTube, I'm not meaning for absolutely everybody. And for Kelly, for instance, I did, I've put down that you lost 14 pounds because you lost a stone on your liver reduction. I know it's early days and you shouldn't be worrying about your weight loss at the moment, but let's just put it this way. In total, in pounds, between all of us that were there yesterday, we've lost a grand total of 540 pounds. That's 38.5 stones or 244 kilos. We are the best group of losers I've ever met in my life. And we've all made that really big decision to change our lives through bariatric surgery whether it be the band the sleeve or the bypass or the mini bypass Gary I haven't forgotten you this time and I just think it goes to show you know again every single one of us will tell you the same thing it isn't a quick or a magic fix it's definitely a lot of hard work but with these people walking alongside you in a support form, it's not that bad. You're inspired, you're motivated by their enthusiasm for exercise. You know, Gary does his walks and that inspires other people to get moving. And also she's a busy girl. She works for BA and she's flying all over the place, but she's in the gym when she can and she's doing her Insta stories and showing us. And I just hope I can be half of that, you know, to try and be an inspiration to somebody else because Maggie Dex, Dawn, she's out there. You know, I don't think until recently I'd ever done a group, um, 
exercise fitness class and now she's addicted to them and you're just like you know we're all this is such a good group because you're just bettering your life you guys make me want to become a, a better version of me and that's not to be sniffed at so you know I, I, I'm always pretty grateful I'm always pretty happy and okay with what I've got in life and I think yeah today I'm just having one of those days and I'm reflecting on yesterday and all of your stories and you know none of us have had it easy we wouldn't have gone to have life-changing surgery if life was easy right we didn't get born into a ready-made beautiful svelte slim figure with nice hair and not a big nose you know what I mean and you know so we're all struggling at different stages or or trying to accept our bodies the way that they are and the only way we're going to do that is to keep keeping it fit and watching what we put inside our tools with our surgery is what exactly that that that's exactly what that's for it's a tool to assist us into getting a healthier life so yeah i um i saw my surgeon today so i've probably told you guys i'm not sure if i've run out of time or not so i've done my shout outs everybody and mandy i did put your weight down for on the big overall thing from what i took off of instagram so i hope that's okay Rachel and Mandy, I'm going to see them um, for lunch. Oh no, Mandy can't make it. Anyway, I've, I've di divulged again. I've, I go off on different tracks and I really apologise for that. But basically, I will tell you briefly, I have been to see Dr. Greg Jones today, who's one of the bariatric surgeons that works. Um, I'm not, I don't think he did work on me. Dr. Ramus was my surgeon. But Dr. Greg Jones, Dr. Ramus and the other lady work closely together. They cover the NHS side of bariatric surgery and the private sector within this area. So um, I probably should just start another YouTube actually. I'll probably say goodbye on this one and then I can talk about my journey. Because whilst I've been honest with all of you lot about my physical and my physical side of my treatment, I don't feel that my aftercare has been tip top. And partly, I'm only saying partly, it's speaking to other people about their aftercare or their packages and what they've got and how they've been treated leads me to feel really disappointed because surgery wise, absolutely fine recovery thanks to me absolutely fine because I did everything I should do but I've had some blood results sitting here since the beginning of June and I haven't seen anybody and now I know people go off sick I think somebody had a broken arm but I don't think there's anything wrong with the dietitian I was meant to be seeing but I haven't seen her and I was meant to quite some time ago. So the coordination side of my um, treatment hasn't been great. In fact, it's been lacking. And my assumption really is that I've had a fantastic surgery that has gone without, without a shadow of a doubt perfectly. So I'm definitely not knocking um, Dr. Ramus or Dr. Greg Jones. I think my disappointment lies in the coordination of the aftercare. Plus, I have mentioned that due to setting up this support network and being able to meet people face to face and find out their stories and be part of their journeys, I've realized that I've paid nearly £2,000 more than somebody that's had exactly the same treatment with exactly the same surgeons, hospital room, hospital bed and exactly the same aftercare. Or lack of it so um, we have made a formal complaint to Ramsey Health and the hospital but what um, the surgeon did tell me today and I, I don't know how I really feel about it um, I think I'll stop this I'm gonna upload this and then I'll start another one so that I can talk about it in a little bit more detail